so I just finished pulling all this hair back and I actually went ahead and kind of poofed this front part of the bang and all I did was take a small section of hair, back comb it, spray the back got to be and then what I've been doing now is just to give it an extra bit of volume spraying it with got to be just a quick spritz and then up at the what we would you know what the roots would be right up here you're just going to want to kind of back comb, back comb it out kind of flick it around just to give it that extra bit of extra bit of volume so it's not super flat and then you can go ahead and fix up these ends later. If you want to go from the roots, that is key to getting that. If you go from the end, it's just going to be flat. It's going to be. So you want to come from the ends and bring it out so that it kind of got a bit of a volume. So I'm going to show you how I did that now with this other tiny ah, lock of hair. And I just put on some Linkin Park. If you hate them, I I don't even know. I love Linkin Park. They're awesome. I've listened to them since I was three years old, so I love them. They're awesome. All right. So um, we're actually gonna do this in sections. So again, this is a lot easier if you have a wig stand. I'm gonna put that clip. Ah, shit. Ah, well. Oh, it's right there. So we're going to do this in sections just because I feel like it. Alright, so I'm going to take a section of hair and just kind of back comb tease it. This breaks the fibers so that it's easier to mold into the shape you desire. It also gives it extra volume. It'll give it some really nice volume. 